Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Tooth. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and I finally got the Banshee. Sort of. You see, during the open beta test, which, depending on when I post this, is probably still going, on Steam, uh, the Unicorn and Banshee were in DP store for 100,000 DP each, which you can get by doing just certain missions very easily. So... Yeah, I got I picked them up. I picked them both up. I've had the unicorn before, but this is my first time getting to use the banshee and it is fun. I I really do enjoy it. It is of course the only one of the unicorn trio that does not get a uh does not get a uh come on, Rob, there are words. Uh basically a stop to the uh, bleed of new type destroyer mode. Once once you're in it, you're just counting down. So Again, that is uh, in keeping with what seems to be the philosophy of GBO2 raids, which is go in fast, do a lot of damage, and die. That that seems to be what they're designed to do. So, you know, that is that is the idea here. But uh, it has some interesting weapons. It has uh, it has a beam smart gun, which is a one hit stun, which uh, you know heat based fires without uh, fires without needing to charge. Uh, it also has a uh, Garobi damage over time kind of, or sustained damage type weapon. Uh, uh, it's the beam smart gun again, but it fires relatively quickly, and if you, you know, can use it on something that's already stunned, which it has quick enough swaps to do, you can do huge damage. Um, also, once in new type destroyer, it has a heavy attack, which I just completely failed to land on anything. When it's not a new type destroyer, the armed armor melee weapon uh, is basically just, you know, a big meaty punch with an uppercut uh, for its downswing, which, you know, I, I'm, again, I'm always, I just, I like to take the big swings in, in games like this. It's, it's a, uh, it is definitely a failing, because if that's all you do, you're going to leave yourself wide open, and sometimes just, I do that. But I also just have fun with it, so what the hey. Um, but yeah. I like the Banshee. This is a, uh, this is an, uh, I think it's probably an unlimited space round, uh, but since I'd never done a Banshee video of my own before, I decided to go for it. Managed to tag that with uh, one of the punches, so. But yeah, the, uh, unlimited, uh, uh a lot of the, uh, cues, and there's the, uh, uppercut hitting, a lot of the cues in the open beta test are, uh, are the uh, are unlimited, uh, unrestricted, just because that's the easiest way to make sure everybody actually has a mobile suit to uh, use in here. There is one poor soul in here using a standard gym in amongst all these cubelays and banshees and unicorns. There is one just bog standard gym slugging it out, and I salute you, whoever you may be, because... Yeah, that's, that could not have been an easy fight. So, you know, points for uh, hanging in there and giving it your all. And yeah, uh, as you can see, just armed armor is fun to use. Trying to land the big swing here. I will fail at that, I do believe. Yeah, I was that should have connected, I feel like, but it was just a second too early. But yeah, I... Uh, oh man, I uh, I just like the thing. It's, it's fun fairly easy to use. I'd love to get it on my, you know, one of my PSN accounts, just because I have a lot more parts I could throw at it there. This is mostly built for melee, because melee parts is mostly probably what I have at this point, so. And I just got interrupted, because, you know, somebody actually helped their teammate, which does happen. Uh, it is not currently happening to me, but that's life. Uh, we're only about 2,000 points behind against the team where one of the players is just a gym, but you know, that also happens. You know, it, it could be that that, uh, that uh, gym player is like the, you know, uh, the most experienced player on their team. Uh, that that could be. That they could be, you know, just hanging in the back, landing the perfect stuns for their, uh, for their higher cost uh, teammates to, uh, you know, follow up and demolish people. There, It could work. Uh, it's not something I see very often, but it could work. That is, of course, another Banshee. Missed it with my uppercut. And, again, I probably should have just done Saber, because I'm pretty sure my downswing would have hit that, but that is just, you know, how it works uh, when you're trying to land the big swings instead of just trying to land the attack that works. Which, you know, like I said, failing. 
which is what I'm doing to hit this banshee. Um, let's see, I'm going to try and point out the gem if I see it, but I'm almost certain this is the round that had the had the standard gem in it somewhere. If I, if I hit anybody and they just melt, you'll know that's them. But, uh, let's see. I wonder if they're the one planting the bomb at the base. That would be, you know, a fairly good use of your time if you were in a uh, standard gym. It's kind of a shame they didn't add the Fenix 2 just because, uh, ah, good, landed the uppercut on its feet. Just because, uh, you know, there aren't a lot of, uh, aren't a lot of Psych Mew units in the game at this point. Ah, good, I hit, I hit at least part of the Garubi. Um, and... But yeah, there's not a lot of Psych Mew units in the game. There's the Cubile, which a lot of people are making good use of. But, and I guess if anybody brought out a Totus Ritter, that would also uh, block uh, Psych Mew as well. Or that's, that's, incomes would also be blocked. That's the words. But yeah, it's just one of those things where you know, the the uh, Psych Mew uh, Jammer is not as, uh, not as quite as useful perhaps as it could otherwise be. Um... So with, I think, two Cubalays on each team, it's it's useful enough. With our base wrecked, the enemy team has got a 5,000 point lead. I don't remember if we recover from that. Just putting my money on no. But, uh, especially since... Okay, I think... No, they're headed back towards C. We've got somebody on our team uh, in an Ago. I did not notice that at the time. I was too busy fidgeting and trying to figure out where and when I wanted to respawn. And there is a Unicorn. There's a dead Unicorn. Time to move on to the next target, which is probably that Cubile. And and I think this is one of those cases where I figured out at the very end of the fight how I was supposed to be doing this, which is that I'm pretty sure if you hit with the uh, with the major with the main stun, you can follow up with the sustained damage beam much more easily. Which yeah, just one of, yeah, like that kind of except successful hopefully. But yeah, it's just one of those things of. You know, I had only, this was like the second time I'd run it, once on the ground and once in space, and you know, one of those things where, yeah, I, we get to the end of the round and I'm finally starting to figure it out, which, you know, kind of crazy making sometimes, especially when I'm, you know, doing stuff to publish, but yeah, there's what I, there's what I was going for, which not the most damage in the world, but it was definitely damage. I haven't actually taken enough damage to go into NTD myself, so just got to go with what I've got, which is punches. Again, I just also just giant robots punching each other is just the, one of those great things, honestly. And just uh, you know, from as far back as Mazinger Z, which I saw as Transor Z as a child, I, that was one of my favorite things. So, but yeah, they're gonna win four thousand points ahead. But I just felt like running this because I actually got you know got a round where I did okay in the Banshee. And yeah, I'm pretty sure the enemy team just has a bog standard gym if this is the round I'm thinking of. Uh, no, they had a Zeta. Uh, the round where I st uh, fought a normal gym with a whole bunch of other things must have been one of the other ones. Well, that's a little bit less, uh, a little bit less disheartening at least. Five kills, three deaths, really good pursuit assist, so I'll take that. But that is going to do it for this Gundam Battle Operation 2, uh, uh, Steam round. And, you know, hopefully this, uh, open beta goes well enough that, you know, next time we get the full game. So anyway, till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! And then after this, I went back and played Fenix on my uh, one account on the PS5 and forgot that I have to set uh, NTD and Awakening Modes Quick Swaps separately from the default uh, Modes Quick Swaps, so I was kind of in some trouble there near the end of that round. It's not a round I bothered saving, I'll put it that way for sure.